I'm going to be doing a deck review on a Kryptonix. I skated this deck three years ago when I was 13, but I still remember the way it was. They're actually not that bad, really. They're, they keep their pop for a good amount of time, and they have a pretty good feel to them. The only thing is that they're hard to find in like an 8, because that's mainly why I like to skate. This is a 7.5, rather small. And I did a lot with this deck, since it was really the first brand deck I really ever got. I skated it from like November of 06 until like July of 07. But I wasn't that good at that time, so. But anyways, these decks are pretty strong too, because I had another one and it broke on me, but it was toughy, really. That other one went through a lot, but they're all made like the same, really. All the Kryptonix decks really are. And they're pretty nice. Their decks are a little bit on the heavy side, but I kind of like that because it feels a little bit more sturdy for me. That's just my opinion, though. Their shape, well, you can see it's pretty, pretty good. So, yeah, everything about getting one, you skate like a seven and a half. Yeah, you probably should just when you when you get it, change the trucks. I recommend independent. They're sweet because Kryptonix trucks, eh, they're, eh, not as good as their decks.